Not even 48 hours later, and I already have to talk about Dr. Disrespect stuff, so if you want a little bit of a TLDR about the situation to happen with Doc recently, just go and check out my last video, or literally any other video talking about the situation, because I'm not gonna do that here. Today, I just want to talk about specifically what happened recently over the past, like, two days now, which was yesterday and now today. I'm a little late on this because I woke up really late because I fucked up my sleep schedule, and I'm not really sleeping the best right now, but regardless, we're here to talk about the fact that Dr. Disrespect's company had actually completely released him from being one of the co-founders and one of the uh, head guys of that company, which was Midnight Society. And the Midnight Society is basically just, it's basically just Dr. Disrespect's company, or it was his company, and they were making a game. I believe it was like NFT based and it was like a looter shooter, first person shooter type of game. I'm not really sure what it's about as I haven't really looked all that much into it because it just doesn't really interest me all that much. And now that Dr. Disrespect isn't even a part of the company anymore, I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't even end up turning out that well. Anyways, Midnight Society, they recently tweeted, on Friday evening, we became aware of the allegations against one of our co-founders, Guy Beam, aka Dr. Disrespect. We assumed his innocence and began speaking with parties involved, and in order to maintain our principles and standards as a studio and, indivi and individuals, we needed to act. For this, we are terminating a relationship with Guy Beam immediately. While these facts are difficult to hear and even more difficult to accept, it is our duty to act with dignity on behalf of all individuals involved, especially the 55 developers and families we have deployed along with our community of players. And that was the statement made by Midnight Society, former company that Dr. Disrespect had owned, and he also responded with today, uh, as a matter of fact, with his new statement in regards to the Twitch ban. And it, this is going to be a little bit of a lengthy one, so I apologize for this being really long, but I'm going to try to trim it down as much as I can in order to get really the most important parts, and we'll speak about it afterwards. Hello, I'd like to make a quick statement. Let's cut the fucking bullshit. As you know, there's no filter with me. I've always been upfront and real with you guys on everything that I can be upfront about, and I'm always willing to accept responsibility, which is why I'm here now. First and foremost, I do want to apologize to everyone in my community as well as those close to me and my team and everyone at Midnight Society Game Studios. A lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with Midnight Society and I and we made the painful decision collectively to have me step down. Our team is full of incredibly talented and good people that have high career ambitions and families and I never want to jeopardize the culture we have carefully cra crafted. Everyone has been wanting to know why I was banned from Twitch but for reasons outside of my control, I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations, I can now tell you my side of the story regarding the ban. Were there Twitch whisper messages with the individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. Were there real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes leaned too much in the direction of being inappropriate, but nothing more. To be honest, I, honestly, after reading that, I kind of feel like there's not really much else to read afterwards, but I'm going to go ahead and continue anyways. Off of that statement alone has already pissed off many, many people on Twitter. People saw that and they were like, what do you mean it only leaned a little bit in the direction of it being inappropriate, right? Or too much in the direction of being inappropriate. Like... What does that even mean? And some creators have also said that on like Chris Hansen's show, the, Cra the Catch a Predator, PDF files would say very similar stuff like that, like trying to downplay the situation as much, as much as possible to try to make it seem like nothing bad actually happened. So for all we know, Doc could have been potentially hiding a lot of stuff that was ha actually happening within those Twitch whisper messages and just he's just trying to downplay it and trying to make himself not seem as bad. Nothing illegal happened, no pictures were shared, no crimes were committed, I never even met the individual. I went through a lengthy operation regarding a civil dispute with Twitch and that case was resolved by a settlement. Let me be clear, it was not a criminal case against me and no criminal charges have ever been brought against me. Now, from a moral standpoint, I'll absolutely take responsibility. I should have never entertained these conversations to begin with. That's on me. That's on me as an adult, a husband, and a father. It should have never happened. I get it. I'm not perfect, and I'll fucking own my shit. That was stupid. To my team, community, industry, friends that I have supported me, I apologize. I wish I could have said all this sooner. You guys have always showed me and my family love and support throughout all these years. We love you guys like you can't imagine. I have the fucking best community in circle. If any of this has made you uncomfortable, I get it. You don't have to support me anymore, but just know 
you have always been greatly appreciated. But trust me when I say this to all my haters that live and breathe social media with zero real life experience, I don't give a fuck about you. Finally, if you're uncomfortable with this entire statement and think I'm a piece of shit, that's fine, but I'm not fucking going anywhere. I'm not the same guy that made this mistake all those years ago. I'm taking an extended vacation with my family as mentioned on stream and I'm going and I'm coming back with a heavy weight off my shoulder. They want me to disappear. Yeah, fucking right. So yeah, he, he confirmed it, right? He outright just confirms that he was talking with a minor and the, the conversations that he had with the minor would sometimes get inappropriate. How inappropriate would we, they would get? Who knows? In the same statement that he basically admits that he was talking with a minor, he doesn't even say whether or not he knew the age of the minor or not. Now, regardless, even if he didn't know, it would still look really, really bad for him. But at least it wouldn't be him knowing the age of the person in context and still continuing to have those type of conversations with them to begin with. Because that's insanely messed up. Uh, he also doesn't actually say the age of the minor at all at any point in this message, this tweet that he made. He just says that he was talking with an individual minor back in 2017 which i should go ahead and also point out he also has made a couple of edits to the tweet you're gonna you're gonna see the original and then you're going to see the edit that was made and pretty much what he just does is that he just edits out the word minor but then he must have realized that people were actually able to see the edit history of the, the tweet that he had made and so he changed it back to what it originally was before i don't know why he did that but I guess he just wanted again uh, to again downplay the severity of the situation. Yeah, I mean, I don't really think there's a whole lot much else to say about this situation. He's entirely fucked this up for him. The fact that he did this at all is insanely, insanely messed up. And no surprise, uh, a lot of people have seen this and they're now... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're now doing a lot of stuff. Kai Sinat uh, read the tweet and he immediately unfollowed him on Twitter. The act man who's been very focal on the situation has been talking about it and completely disavows him. I believe Asmongold has talked about it now. Ludwig has talked about it now. Very close personal friends of Dr. Disrespect, Tim the Tatman and Nick Merckx also responded to the tweet that he had made and they completely disavow him as well. The doc talks about how he's not gonna go anywhere, how he's not going to disappear, but he just basically admitted to committing a crime. Right? He basically just admitted to talking with a minor and it would sometimes get inappropriate. Like, like, I don't understand, right? I don't understand, like, not only why he did this, but I also don't understand how Twitch saw this, hit the fact that this happened, didn't tell anyone else in the public that, uh, about this because this is very fucking serious and people need to know about it, and then ultimately just ended up reaching a settlement about it. Like, I, I need to see some fucking messages, right? I seriously, like right now, need to see some messages about what happened, right? Because it really just comes off as the doc trying to downplay the severity of the situation and the conversations that the two of them were having one another. And there's no way that Twitch does, doesn't still have access to those old messages. He, They absolutely must have them because there's no, there's no shot, right? And as the act man had pointed out in his Twitter video, um, there's innocent until proven guilty. And for guilty, there's the court of law, and then there's the, the court of the public. In the court of law, they didn't think that he did anything wrong, and they ultimately reached the conclusion where there was a settlement made, and nobody was found guilty, but nobody was found. But in the court of the public, people fucking hate this guy now. He is never going to have a career he's never going to be able to come back and be able to escape this and it's it really comes off as him trying to do that by the way because he really tries to come off as him in the tweet that he made as all right i finally admitted guys you, you now know the reason why i got banned in 2020 you know you know the reason why i got banned off of twitch can, can we go back to normalcy can can i go back to you know streaming fucking call of duty warzone and being dog shit at the game now like i don't know uh this was a very serious situation and I'm surprised it took this long for any information to finally come out about it. Regardless though, that's all I really have to say about it. It's very... I feel bad for the fans who truly cared about this guy and supported him as a creator. And now for this to come out and for this to have been hidden from the public for so long, it's just upsetting. And there's no way he's going to be able to come back from this and be able to escape it without people always constantly mentioning it. Uh, anyways, that's pretty much it for me. Uh, this insane cat and mouse game, similar and akin to L versus Kira from Death Note. It feels like it's finally come to a conclusion, right? Maybe some more stuff will eventually come out. Uh, maybe I'll make a video talking about it, going further with into it. 
I have no idea. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. Please turn on bell notifications so you don't miss another video. I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Drop that